My name's Neil Caffergy. I'm the National Coordinator for Jobstown Not Guilty in England and Wales. We're here today outside the Irish Embassy because of a trial that's taking place in the Central Criminal Court in Dublin where six people, three of them public representatives, one of them an MP in the Irish Parliament, Paul Murphy, are on trial accused of false imprisonment for taking part in a sit-down protest in front of the car of the Je Deputy Prime Minister Joan Burton in Jokestown in uh, South West Dublin. The other charges have been decisively defeated. The Irish government is licking its wounds and they want to have revenge. And that's why they've gone against working class communities that stood up against the water charges and also stood up against austerity policies. These are trials to try and head off any future mass protests against austerity policies in Ireland. They've gone after Paul Murphy, a Socialist Party member and Solidarity TD or MP, because he is one of the high profile people leading that campaign. We believe if these trial goes ahead and if the, the defendants are convicted, it will have a chilling effect on the right to protest in Ireland, uh, particularly because the right to protest has achieved uh, victories for the anti-austerity movement in relation to the water charges. Um, but also there's been news uh, that the right to abortion is getting close to being won in Ireland, uh, thanks to mass protest and mass mobilization. Mass massive protest here as well. That was for uh, solidarity with the protests that were going on in Dublin for International Women's Day. So a campaign called Strike for Repeal got th uh, hun thousands of people onto the streets of Dublin at lunchtime on International Women's Day and blocked off the streets for um, a considerable amount of time. Later that evening there was another march that went from the north side of the city centre to the ha uh, Houses of Parliament that also disrupted traffic and uh, delayed lots of people. So if this case g gets a guilty verdict that could mean have a significant impact on the abortion rights campaign because all those people would also then be up for false imprisonment for delaying buses, for deliveries, for everything. You know, we believe it's important that there's an international solidarity campaign with the Jokestown defendants in order that uh, the right to protest is not clamped down on in Ireland. The Committee for Workers International, which the Socialist Party is affiliated to in Britain and in Ireland, has helped to organise protests right across the world. We have had protests from Malaysia to Russia, from America to Hong Kong, from Sweden all the way to uh, Sri Lanka. And these protests will continue. We've even had protests by workers who work for Toto, the oil giant, in, the, in uh, the Yemen. Ireland is a common law country, as is uh, Great Britain. And so we also think, particularly here in Britain, it's important to protest against it because similar tactics could be used against protests or against trade unions uh, if the, you know, slightly rid ridiculous but nevertheless very serious charges of false imprisonment for taking part in a sit-down protest goes ahead. Uh, and so therefore we've, we've come here to the Irish Embassy to make our voice heard. Protest, not a crime! Protest, not a crime! Jokestown! Jokestown!